I will be making film and interviewing bicycle races this weekend. In that fast-paced run-and-gun scenario, I will be walking with a tripod and my camera to catch racers before and after their races. There's often no time to use even a clip-on lav microphone. What microphone should I use? In previous years, I used a standalone sound system consisting of an XLR shotgun microphone and a Deity HDTX recorder mounted on a monopod, which I used to place next to the interviewee for better sound. This worked very well and allowed me to place the microphone close enough to the talent's mouse to minimize ambient sounds and to get best quality voice recording. A large wind blimp, however, was always in the shot, which is not ideal. Today I'm testing the new DM-E1D on-camera microphone from Canon, which is specifically designed to work with multifunction shoe-equipped cameras like the Canon R5C. I plan to compare its performance to a Sennheiser MKH 8060 professional shotgun microphone and the less expensive Sennheiser MKE 200 on-camera microphone, which I used with my Canon R5 camera. Hello and welcome to Telvia. In my first set of tests, I want to compare the sound quality of the new Canon DM-E1D microphone with my Sennheiser MKE 200 on-camera microphone. Because the Canon R5C camera records four audio channels, I can compare the audio recorded by the camera for three microphones in the same shot. Channels 1 and 2 is audio from the multifunction shoe attached Canon DM-E1D and channel 3 audio is from the Sennheiser MKE 200 plugged in into the 3.5mm TRS input on the R5C. In addition, we will have the audio from the built-in R5C camera microphone that is recorded on channel 4. As a reference, I will use my Sennheiser MKH 8060 professional shotgun microphone recording to a Deity HDTX recorder mounted next to the camera, such as the distance from all microphones to the voice talent is the same. I set the Canon DM-E1D mic level to minus 18 decibels, as recommended by the manufacturer. The Sennheiser MKE 200 input was also adjusted to minus 18 decibels for better comparison. The Sennheiser MKH 8060 is run on phantom power with 18 decibel boost on the Deity HDTX recorder, which corresponds to a minus 12 dB input level in DaVinci Resolve editor. The sound source for the microphone setup was my normal voice at a two foot distance. The built-in microphone is always set to automatic and this test will tell us how well it can perform as a scratch microphone at various distances from the talent for the soundtrack synchronization in post. In this test, I am outside with some environmental sounds like birds, swimming pool pumps, air traffic, and light winds similar to the conditions I'll experience at the event this Saturday. All microphones, with the exception of the built-in camera microphone, have a wind muff which should shield them from wind interference at today's wind speed. In this test, I will record footage and sound from all microphones while I'm reciting a brief paragraph at 2, 5, 10, and 15 feet from the camera. I will process the soundtracks in the Fairlight page of the DaVinci Resolve editor by normalizing them to minus 14 LUFS loudness level and will use compressor, noise reduction, equalizer, and de-esser for better clarity and better sound separation from environmental sounds. Each track will be processed using the same parameters. Let's listen to each microphone at varying distances. What is LUFS? LUFS stands for Loudness Unit Full Scale, which allows the measurement of loudness of a piece of audio without a reference, whereas a decibel measurement requires the reference of standard air pressure against which to measure the air pressure generated by the audio. LUFS stands for Loudness Unit Full Scale, which allows the measurement of loudness of a piece of audio without a reference, whereas a decibel measurement requires the reference of standard air pressure against which to measure the pressure generated by the audio. LUFS stands for Loudness Unit Full Scale, which allows the measurement of loudness of a piece of audio without the reference, whereas a decibel measurement requires the reference of standard air pressure 
against which to measure the air pressure generated by the audio. LUFS stands for loudness unit, full scale, which allows the measurement of loudness of piece of audio without a reference, whereas the deci a decibel measurement requires the reference of standard air pressure against which to measure the pressure generated by the audio. What do you think? To my ears, the Sennheiser MKH-8060 microphone captures the highest sound quality and has the best voice isolation from ambient sounds. The Sennheiser MKE-200 and Canon DM-E1D both have better sound quality versus the built-in camera microphone of the Canon R5C camera. All tested camera microphones and reference mic system produced wavelengths that allowed synchronization of audio tracks in DaVinci Resolve at 15 feet and possibly at longer distances from the voice source. So in the future, when I use a separate from the camera sound system, I will not hesitate to use just the built-in camera microphone for the scratch track and use it later for waveform synchronization in post. The most interesting to me test was the comparison between Sennheiser MKH 8060 shotgun microphone and the Canon DM E1D on camera microphone at a 2 to 5 foot distance, the distance at which I will be interviewing race participants this Saturday. What is LUFS? LUFS stands for loudness unit full scale, which allows the measurement of loudness of a piece of audio without a reference. Whereas a decibel measurement requires the reference of standard air pressure against which to measure the air pressure generated by the audio. My conclusion is that while the Sennheiser MKH 8060 does sound better, the difference is not significant enough at that distance to justify the rigging its bulky form factor on the top of the camera. As with any microphone, the sound quality improves dramatically the closer it is to the voice source. I could bring my Sennheiser MKH 8060 to a distance of 10 inches to the interviewee by mounting it on a Zakuro magic arm attached to my tripod. Let's listen to the comparison between Canon DM E1D mounted on the camera at 30 inches from my mouse and the Sennheiser MKH 8060 mic at 10 inches from my mouse. The height of the microphone can be set so it is not visible in the shot. Okay, ready for another definition of LUFS term? LUFS stands for loudness unit full scale which allows the measurement of loudness of a piece of audio without a reference, whereas a decibel measurement requires the reference of standard air pressure against which to measure the air pressure generated by the audio. What do you think? Which sounds better to you? I think we all agree that the closer placement of the Sennheiser mic makes a big difference. The voice is fuller and richer and sounds more present. Well, using this setup, however, has its disadvantages. The tripod with the video head and microphone and the magic arm weighs 15 pounds, while the lightweight tripod I'd use with the on-camera microphone weighs less than 4 pounds. Better sound is always a top goal but getting a variety of video shots is also important. Considering that I will be walking along the race course for over 10 miles that day, the lighter setup will allow me to be present in more places at the event and to talk to a greater number of people. For events not requiring high mobility, however, I will use the Sennheiser 8060 mic on the arm rig for better sound quality. Let me know what you think about gear portability versus sound video quality dilemma. A quick comment about the new Canon DM E1D microphone. It can only be used with Canon cameras equipped with the multifunction shoe. This mic can also be said to record a wider stage in stereo mode with 90 and 120 degrees in stereo channel separation. In my test, the mic was set to the mono shotgun mode for better voice isolation. The Canon DM E1D mic has, in my opinion, only a marginal sound quality improvement over the Sennheiser MKE 200 microphone. Its only advantage is the multifunction shoe connectivity to the camera. 
considering its $299 price versus the $99 price tag for the Sennheiser MKE 200 microphone, the Canon DM-E1D is a very questionable value proposition. Stay tuned for my next video from the bicycle race this Saturday, in which I'll be using the Canon R5C with the DM-E1D on camera microphone for real-life results with this new gear. I hope to see your name on the subscriber list, and I'd be grateful if you hit that like button for this video. Thank you and cheers.